Welcome to Summersville Wildcats Live. Hey, Andy Earls here, your owner operator. I just want to say thank you for tuning in with us and for all of the support. This is the first year of SWL, and we are excited to bring it to you week in and week out. We also want to say thank you to all of our amazing sponsors that you're about to see and hear in this ad video. We'll be back live with the game action shortly, and we hope you enjoy this production. Go Wildcats! Hey, I love bringing you the SWL live streams in my spare time. But when I'm not here, I'm at Baldwin Chevrolet in Popper Bluff, Missouri. I have been selling cars for 15 years now and love the opportunity to earn your business. Four lots full of new and pre-owned vehicles to choose from. The majority of these are backed by a lifetime warranty at no charge to you. Come see me at Baldwin Chevrolet or call me directly at 501-413-9715. I look forward to seeing you. A big shout out to our primary sponsor, Security Bank of the Ozarks. They have five locations, six different 24-hour ATMs, offering mobile banking, online bill pay, mobile deposits, and much more. They also have a debit card fraud monitoring app that you can check your balance on, as well as many other functions. Visit them online at www.sbozarks.com. Security Bank of the Ozarks. Go Wildcats. Your primary sponsor, Current Incorporated out of West Plains, Missouri. Family owned and operated since 1990. They provide electrical, heating air services, and that's installation for both residential and commercial customers. Their electricians, gosh, they do anything from replacing a light bulb to completely wiring an entire commercial building. The HVAC department does anything from replacing an air filter to installing rooftop heating and air systems and full custom duct systems. They even have their own wireless high-speed internet in West Plains and surrounding areas, Current Inc. SWL's primary sponsor, Wendy's Canoe Rental. They have canoe, kayak, raft, and tube rentals for Jack's Fork and Current River. They're located at the south end of Highway 19 Bridge over Jack's Fork River. Get a hold of them toll free at 866-889-8177 or online www.wendyscanoe.com. Go Cats! All of us here at Summersville Wildcats Live want to give a big shout out to the beautiful Tuttle family and their company Tuttle Logging on their Wildcat sponsorship package for the 2021-2022 season. The Tuttle family is your local experts for all things logging and they want you to know that they are proud supporters of not only Summersville Wildcats Live but the city of Summersville. A big thank you again to the Tuttle family and their company Tuttle Logging. SWL wants to give a big thank you to Kathy's Creations out of Somerville, Missouri. In fact, Kathy's Creations is right on the square there in Somersville, and they have a plethora of different ways to serve you, like fabric work, quilting, silks, gift items, and much, much more. Kathy's Creations want to wish the Somerville Wildcats Athletics the best of luck on the upcoming season. Kathy's Creations, 417-331-6508. Go Cats! Hey, from everybody here at Summersville Wildcats Live, we're going to give a big shout out and a thank you to Mr. Brandon Brawley and all the fine folks there at Brawley Fertilizer and Lime Spreading on their Wildcat Packet Sponsorship for the 2021-2022 live streaming season. Hey, if you need fertilizer and lime spreading, they are the place to go in this area. You can get a hold of them at 417-331-1753 and they want to wish the Summersville Wildcats nothing but the best of luck on the upcoming sports season. Our tour on the sponsor video makes a stop at Pineview Christian Home. We want to say thank you to Pineview Christian Home for the Wildcat sponsor package on the 2021-22 streaming season. It's a social service organization that's been in business since 1994, long-standing with great customer service, friendly staff, located at 4281 Highway 17 right there in Somersville. To get a hold of them, 417-932-4557. How about Triple T Logistics out of Summersville, Missouri? Thank you guys for your sponsorship. 
Hey, if you got any kind of logistical needs, no matter how big or small, pick up that phone and dial Jay and Sue Duncan, the owners, at 417 247 1742. They're family owned and operated business, specializing in hauling flatbed freight in Missouri, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Tennessee. Triple T Logistics, go Wildcats. Somerville Wildcats Live is a Redline Media Lines company. Redline also operates the award-winning Corning Sports Report. That's Arkansas's number one viewed high school sports streaming company. Dog Pack Media out of Van Buren and Alton Sports Network. Hey, if you or your high school would like information from Redline about live streaming an event near you, simply reach out to myself and your girls at 501-413-9715. Redline Media Lines, connect the world. Hey guys, listen up. If yourself, your group, or your business is looking for decals, well, look no further. Drop Dead Decals is your one-stop shop for all things decals, monograms of all sizes, colors and designs, fridge magnet decals, car decals, and anything else you can imagine. You guessed it, decal wise. Owner Head Eddie has great customer service and is eager to get going on your next decal project. Find them on Facebook and send them a message with your ideas, wants, and needs. Drop Dead Decals, go Wildcats. As we record this ad, the SWL Facebook page is up to 600 followers, and that's in less than one full month. It's pretty incredible considering the population in the Summersville city limits. Hey, we sincerely appreciate our loyal fan support of not only us, but these hardworking Wildcat and Lady Wildcat athletes. Let's keep that momentum going into the streaming season. Help us share these feeds and make sure to like and follow us. Let's go Wildcats. Hey guys, let's not forget that select SWL live streams will be seen on our Redline Media Lines YouTube channel this season. Watch on your big screen from the comfort of your home with a smart TV and the YouTube app. Just a few advantages over Facebook like pausing and rewinding live events. Make sure to click that subscribe button to our Redline Media Lines YouTube channel. Let's go Wildcats. Redline, connect the world. Let's all go and subscribe to Summersville's own Austin Bradley's College Basketball Insider Channel on YouTube. Austin and his passion and knowledge of college basketball shine through on this channel week in and week out. Speaking of week in and week out, weekly polls every week, bracket breakdowns, and much more analysis from Austin can be seen and even discussed on this channel by commenting with Austin on the chat feature each week. CBI with Austin Bradley. It is never too late to become a sponsor here with us at Summersville. All right, everybody, we are here for the, uh, I guess it's only varsity tonight, uh, between Dora and Summersville. Summersville coming off a win against Bakersfield. Uh, pretty good Bakersfield team. Uh, uh, Bakersfield team that, ha uh, that has some good wins. Uh, they bring that in. Coming into the night, but this Dora team, I don't. They're they're not gonna give it to them. So, uh, say Bakersfield didn't play the way they played with the when they got the good win, the big win. So, Summersville's gonna have to come out ready to play. But I'm gonna go ahead and give you the starting lineups for the Dora Falcons. We have number 24 Cassidy Hamilton, and then we have number five McKenna Miller, number 22 Chesney Luna, number 21 Lauren Martin, number 33 Autumn Nold. And for Summersville, we're going to start off with number 12, Marissa Fisk, number four, Addison Shockley, number 22, Alyssa Piper, number one, Emma German, who's the other one? Number 23, Mason Gregory. So I don't know a whole lot about Dora. I know they've had a few big wins, and I know they've taken some losses from some weaker teams, but uh, I do know they have one girl that is just a dynamic player. So Summersville's going to have to lock it in and play some good defense and maybe look to score the ball other than just shooting a whole bunch of threes. Yeah, we actually were talking before the game. They they average probably 43 three-point shot attempts a game. and I guarantee uh, they average 30, if not more. I, I, I would I would push for 40. Yeah. Um, and they don't make, you know, it's not a high percentage. 
But anyway, we're getting ready to tip off. What in the world? Marissa Fisk jumping against uh, Nold. Ball's passed down into Nold. She'll kick it out to number 22. That is Luna. Swings it to McKenna Miller. Now back to Nold. They swing it around. They get it to Luna. Miller will take that shot. No good. Rebound. Pulled down. Stolen away by Dora. Nice pass down into Miller by Hamilton. There she is. Hamilton has it out. Right wing. Hits Nold. Layup. No good. Pulled down by Mason Gregory. And is instantly tied up with number 22 and number 5, Chesney Luna and McKenna Miller. I've been calling Miller Nold. I apologize. Full court pressure here by Dora. Gregory up the right side. Looks like she's going to go all the way off the glass. No good. Rebound Dora. That was Nold with the rebound. She gives it up to Hamilton. Hamilton's a baller. She's the one we was talking about earlier. Shoots the ball really well. Handles the ball really well. Miller kicks it back up. Luna now. Looks like we're running a boxing one, I believe. Shot no good there by Luna. They'll get it out to Marissa Fisk, who will bring it up the right side of the court. Gives it back to Mason Gregory. She'll kick it up top to Alyssa Piper. Back to Fisk. And I have a cameraman right in front of me. All right, there's Emma German for three. Rattles around, no good. Put back by Addison Shockley, no good. She is fouled and will shoot two. Guys, if you're watching, go ahead and give us a, a comment on here. Let us know who you're rooting for, where you're watching from, and I'll do my best to get you called out. I know some people don't care, as I've said before, but a lot of people like to hear their name called out, and I am more than willing to do it. <coughs> Shockley for her first. It's good. Very solid free throw shooter throughout her career. Tonight took us a little bit to get started. It's senior night. They recognized her and Marissa Fisk. Second one is good as well. First two points of the game go to Addison Shockley. Both Shockley and Fisk, uh, three sport athletes. Yep. Hamilton. It's one that three, but Emma German's doing a great job on her. She gets screened there. Ball stripped away. Fisk comes out with it. One on four right now. She's going to wisely pull it back out. As she comes around, swings it. Piper for three. And around, no good. Rebound pulled in by Emma German. Tied up there by Luna. And it will be door ball. I, I will point something out. I like, I'd like to point something out real quick. Uh, the entire boys basketball team is here. Even their manager, uh, Cole Odom. Yep. Is here. Turnaround shot by Miller is good. That's a pretty looking shot. I'd say that would be the gentleman uh, that was standing right over there by the door a minute ago, Coach Harrell, encouraging him to come. Ball's going to be slapped out of bounds. It will remain Summersville ball. But you see, Coach Harrell's also helping run the concession stand as he's a junior sponsor, and assistant coach Kevin Aerosmith is sitting down there with them. I have a little funny about that. The other night we were here whenever we were. Uh, the boys and girls played Bakersfield, and uh, you know you said Coach Harrell's a, a junior sponsor, a junior class sponsor, and one of the other sponsors come up to him and was like, hey, we're out of cheese, and he goes, okay. <laughs> and she goes, well, what do I do? And he goes, I don't know. And she just kind of walked away, and he looks at me and he goes, like, that's what I care about right now. Right. We've got a game to coach here. We don't really care about cheese. Well, maybe he's the lead sponsor. All right, full court pressure once again by Dora. They work it ahead to Mason Gregory. Now Piper up top, kicks it over Shockley. She'll look to drive, gives it back. Piper for a deep three, no good, in and out again. Rebound Miller, and she'll get it up to Hamilton. And she comes flying back. Nice handles by her, stutter step. Did a nice little stutter step. step I think back. they just counted that. No way. On the floor, there's oh, okay. I was like, there's no way. Uh, Hamilton to inbound. She'll get it into Miller. Back to Miller now. Three-point shot for her is no good. Piper will pull that one down. 
And ahead to Fisk. Whoa, got away with a big carry there. Dribbled the ball a foot above her head. Three-point shot for Fisk. Hard, no good. Rebound pulled down by number 22, Luna. We're going to have out of bounds here off Dora. So far, Dora's, uh, Dora's not taking real good care of the ball. Some of that can be contributed to the defense Wildcats are playing. Emma German's playing one-on-one -on -one with Hamilton there. And nice save by Piper, and German will be fouled, I believe. No, we're going to have a timeout, Summersville. But some of that can be uh, attributed or contributed to uh, or attributed, whatever, to Summersville's defense. Some of it just not taking good care of the ball. There you'll see the Summersville Wildcat cheerleaders, captain, Sophomore, Gracie Seelock. Uh, you won't see the co-captain, Emma German, because she's playing, and then Alyssa Piper is also another cheerleader. You have Haley Mitchell, Alexis Boyer, Ellie Denton, Jalen Halstead, Sydney Mahan, Haley Brawley, and Audrey Bell. They'll be at, uh, they'll be at every game just about. If there's a if it's a boys varsity game, guaranteed they're going to be there, and they do make the time a lot of times whenever there's an off night for them that they will be to the girls varsity game as it as well. A lot of schools don't do that. Can I uh, use your phone to text Andy and ask him real quick? Because I can say it on here tonight, let people know. Hamilton up the court. Blows past the defender up, left hand. Man, that was a tough shot. Yeah, it was, but it was a, it was great uh, getting to the basket there. Ball ahead now. Way too high for Gregory. Chased down by number 44, the Priest. And Miller will bring it up right side, gives it to Hamilton. She attacks. It's going to be an offensive foul right there. And, oh, my gosh, Addison Shockley slammed her head, back of her head off the floor. She's going to need to come out of the game for a minute. Yeah, that was a hard dunk. You could hear it through the earpiece here. That's the type of deal where you get a concussion. And you heard the ovation as she walks off the court. Riley Buttress, freshman, will check in. Summersville ball, full court pressure still. Hey, she took a charge. Yeah. Still foul. Shot's no good there. Luna, good job on her part. Yeah, she got the charge. You can't drive in there out of control. Again, just one game tonight. Uh, Summersville, North Dora doesn't even look like have numbers for a JV team. I know Summersville doesn't, and from what I can see with Dora, they don't either. Right. First free throw, no good. We started out the season with the JV, had some girls quit. And had a bunch of them quit, four or five, I think. Second one is good for Luna. Full court pressure continues. Fist now with the ball. She's going to break the press by herself. Up the court she flies. She's going to pull around to Piper. Hamilton just about got it. She read it real well. German for three, in and out, no good. Rebound Hamilton, and she'll come back. Nice ahead pass to Miller off the glass is good for two. That makes it seven to two. Dora with the lead as we approach three minutes in this first quarter. Fisk not handling fresh well and throws the ball away. Looked as though Alyssa Piper was being blamed for that. That was not Alyssa's fault whatsoever. <clears throat> Luna with the ball up top. You watch Emma German down here. She sticks to Hamilton like glue. I told you before, you know, I used to coach him up until eighth grade, and she was the bulldog. You put her on the best player, and you guaranteed she was going to guard her. Now she might get some fouls like that and foul out of the game, but I can guarantee you this, she will stick to her. She do with a smile on her face most of the time. Oh yeah, she loves it. As a coach, you can't ask for more. There, you see her slap the ball out of bounds. As a coach, you can't ask for more than that. You know, a good coach will recognize that and instantly knows that's the girl. 
And they get it into Luna. She gets it over to Miller on the left wing, down to Hamilton. Gets position on. Nice little handoff right there. Foul. Basket's good for Nold. And she gets a chance at an one opportunity. And there's Elizabeth Havens checking in for Emma German. That's a good one to bring in to put on Hamilton as well. Because she is the same way. She is relentless. Free throw, no good. So the three-point play is not there. Piper. Elizabeth Havens remind me of, uh, reminds me whenever I watch her of Letha Keller yeah. on the defensive end. And I'll tell you, Letha was a player. We used to scrimmage each other, and I'd see her come up to me, and I'd want to run the other direction. <laughs> and Elizabeth I, gives me the same vibes. I coach uh, – <laughs> Coach Letha, and that was the same thing for me. I didn't want to get in the way. But uh, Elizabeth's a kid that if you have her respect as a coach, you know, if you show her you really care, you can tell her to run through that brick wall right there, and I guarantee you she's not going to quit until there's a hole through that wall. Pull-up shot by Hamilton, no good. Gets her own rebound. Nice pass right there. Couldn't be handled by Luna. She'll get it back up to Hamilton. Three-point for Luna, no good. Pulled down by Gregory, and it looks like we're going to have a jump ball again. The defensive rotation for Summersville has been almost non-existent. Right. Uh, aside from Emma German, really. So, yep. Uh, DePriest uh, got in there and got that tied up. Cassidy Hamilton's a senior. I believe I saw on Facebook from here a while back that she had signed somewhere. I know she's good enough to. Gregory gets it ahead, stolen by Hamilton. Nice pass to Miller. The girl can pass like nobody else. She sees the court for every position or every place. Piper now pressured again. She drives past Miller. Tries to feed it through to Havens. Can't. Fisk will shoot a three. No good. Rebound Miller. Not the best look there. I mean, not a bad look by any means, but right. you can get better ones. Luna drives. Little floater, no good. Pulled down by Fisk. And she's going to fly up the right side of the court. Tries to take it all the way. Barely catches the bottom of the rim. Ball now in the hands of Hamilton. She comes back as we approach one minute in this first quarter. 11-2, to two, Dora leads. Hamilton guarded. Nice screen right there. <laughs> Elizabeth Havens just gave a push. Nice shot by Hamilton. Very nice play there. Nice. Uh, that was very good going off of the screen. I think it was DePriest set the screen, and she run right into it, and uh, Elizabeth just gave her a little two-hand push, get out of my way. The thing with that last shot that Marissa Fisk took, where, Fisk took, where she just kind of flung it up there like, calm down, settle down. Calm down. There was nobody else in the paint with her, so, you know, calm down. Pull it back out. Set up your offense. Run it through. You don't have, it to, take a, you don't have to take the shot within the first ten seconds of the possession. Right. I mean, mm. if you're down nine with – a minute left in the fourth quarter, that's a little different, but. Right. <coughs> Piper to inbound. She'll kick it over to Mason, right corner. Now up to Fisk. That was a dangerous pass. Fisk does pull it around. Goes to the left wing. She'll get it to Piper, high right wing. Down into Buttress. Mason Gregory now looks to drive, spins, kicks it back. Piper's going to give it up. Buttress thought about a shot. Defender uh, played right there, right there in front of her. Now Fisk will pull it back out. Down to four seconds. Piper with it. She'll flip it up. Basket's no good. No foul there. So that will end the first quarter, 13-2, to two in favor of the Dora Falcons. We're getting close to districts. Uh, yeah, yeah, a week from Saturday, actually, at Van Buren. Yep. Uh, the bracket came out yesterday. The Summersville girls will play East Carter, and the Summersville boys will play Couch. They'll actually have Couch back-to-back. -back. Yeah. Uh, they close the regular season out Tuesday at Couch, and then they'll play Couch at Van Buren. Yep. Uh, but I'll tell you what, those potential semifinal games 
could be really good. Well, if everything goes as everybody figures, it'll be Summersville versus uh, East Carter. Boys. Yeah. And yeah. that should be uh, a barn burner. Yeah. Potentially could be one. Um, I think that's a matchup that I want to be careful what I say because I don't want to take anybody off and then have Preston Turner come score 70 on us. Right. Um, and he could. Oh, yeah, he could. I mean, that, that has the potential to be a great game. But honestly, with it being the third time, if Summersville can make it to the championship game, Alton and Summersville has potential to be a great game. Yeah. A third time. and It'd be a third time. That would be the third team Summersville has played three times this year, if it happens. Right. So, all right, we'll get back to the action. Fist will bring it up. Nice rebound by Elizabeth Havens right before that. Jaden German's in now, number 10, into Buttress. She gets it over to Fisk on the right. Now to Jaden. She'll give it over. It's almost stolen. Luna got a hand on it. Havens now with the ball. German and the Buttress. Gregory's working her tail off down there and has gotten position two, three different times, and he will not give it to her. Fisk again. Now to German on the right wing. Jaden dumps it into Buttress. Three-point shot by Gregory, no good. And that's going to be Summersville ball as it's slapped out of bounds by Hamilton. We've got Destiny Bryson watching, Charlie Beaver's watching, and my beautiful wife, Kimberly Bradley's watching. A few more, but those are the ones that popped up for me. Thanks for watching, guys. Jaden German now gives it back to Fist. She'll bring it around up top, get it set back up. Down to Havens. Right wing here for Fisk. Shockley looks to do a little work. She'll kick it back out. Swings it. Down to Havens. Back up to Jaden German. Down into Shockley. She will be fouled by the priest. We have Miss Brenda Atchison watching. Thanks for watching, guys. Fisk will inbound. She gets it into Shockley. Nice position by her. Dribbles too far out, though. Misses her shot, and I believe she's going to be whistled for that foul. One power dribble back would have got her uh, right up there at the basket. Instead, she took two, maybe three. I'm not, I can't remember for sure, but all she needed was one there. Didn't work. Two to 13. Second quarter, six minutes, 20 seconds left. Dora Falcons leading the Summersville Wildcats. Hamilton with it now. Nice crossover by Hamilton. Low, quick. She goes in. Floater is good. And it is 15 to 2 now. Fisk will bring it up for Summersville. Hamilton's one of those players that just about any time she can do whatever she wants with the ball, no matter who's guarding her or anything. There was a kickball that was missed. Buttress blocked by Hamilton. And then Hamilton's knocked to the ground, and <laughs> Elizabeth Havens gets tangled up. That's one little girl right there. You're not going to outmuscle, I can promise you that. Shy Richardson's watching with us. Thanks, Shy. Guys, if you're watching, you want your name hollered out, go ahead and leave us a comment. And let us know who you're rooting for and all that. And I will do my best to get it shouted out. Shockley will be fouled on the shot there, I believe. And we'll be shooting too. Addison has the first two points for Summersville. And they came at the free throw line. Yep, both of those were free throws. No good for the first one. It's 2 to 15 right now. Five minutes, 50 seconds left in the second quarter. Second one for Shockley is good. As of right now, she's 75% for the night. Hamilton brings it up right side, guarded by Havens. She'll swing it over to Luna and to Miller. Miller's another one that's played really well tonight. She got called for that travel there, and it will be Summersville ball. Miller is also a senior along with Hamilton. So Emma German comes in for Jaden German, and Mason Gregory comes in for Elizabeth Havens. Fisk, luckily for her, Emma was there. 
Ball now, swings around. Shockley, nice shot fake for her. Fisk will shoot a three from the left wing. It's good. Making it six to 15 now as we approach five minutes in this second quarter. Hamilton comes right back at him. She's gonna shoot a deep three off the back of the rim there. Pulled down by Buttress, nice rebound there. And Fisk comes back up. Once again, does what she did earlier. Nice save there to Summersville by Hamilton. Swinging it around. Fisk with it, right wing. And German will bring it around top over to Gregory. Gregory looks to drive up. Off the glass, no good. Shockley with the rebound. Put back is good. And, and one possibility right here if she can hit her free throw. And the great Davey Boyles watching. <laughs> Hi, Davey. First one, or not the first one, but no three-point play for Addison as she can't complete the free throw. And they'll come back up, and the ball to Hamilton. Swung down to Luna. Now to Miller. Luna again. She tries to feed the priest. Can't. Nice job by Mason Gregor to get out there and get a hand on it. Hamilton looking to get it in. She'll get it to Miller. Back to Hamilton. She'll look to drive. Pull up the free throw line. Shot rolls around. No good. Pulled down by Fisk. And Luna stays on her, and she's going to be whistled for a little foul. And that is the seventh team foul for Dora, so that will put Marissa at the line for a one and one I think the coaches want an explanation there, and I, I'd agree that's a tic-tac foul. Yeah. They start calling those, and tonight will be a long night. Fisk at the line for a one and one. First one is good. She'll get us a chance at a second one here. Hit every part of the rim and then fell in. Yeah. Second one, no good. And Miller pulls that one down. Miller got away with two walks right there. Yep. When she rebounded, she traveled. After she picked her dribble up, she traveled. Hamilton all the way down the lane, off the glass, good. Man, she's a good scorer. Yep. Four minutes, five seconds left. Nine to 17. Over to Gregory, up, off the glass. No, didn't use the glass, shot it completely over the rim. And it's gonna be door ball. It's one of them deals, you know, you see Hamilton come in and drive and score, you know, come up and under. It's a, uh, our girls got to realize, you know, not everybody can do that. We've tried it like three or four times tonight already. When you're in traffic like that, just turn around, dribble out. Oh, we're going to have a foul called on Emma German. And what from right up here looked like a clean strip. Hamilton looking to get it in. Luna, she'll shoot a three from the left corner off the glass. No good. Rebound to Priest. Down to Nold. She'll go up. It's good there for Nold. 19 to 9, 10 point lead now with three minutes, 30 seconds left in this second quarter. German will get it back to Fisk. Shockley gets a shot for three. No good. Pulled down by Hamilton. And Hamilton will come back. Oh, nice step back. About took it. I don't think Coach wanted her to or something. She wanted to, you could tell. Nice hesitation dribble there. Nice pass into the priest. Good no call there, too, by the ref. It was. Fisk will bring it up right side. Pulls up, quick shot, way too hard. Air ball brought back by Hamilton. And you'll see some handles there by her. As we approach about two and a half minutes, still halftime. Miller turn around, no good. And that's going to be called off of Mason Gregory, so it will be door ball still. Hey, I got to say this. It's the 
this game's going quicker than the last last night's did. Or not was it last night, night before? Night before last. Yeah, <laughs> that that girls game took forever. I went out to the hallway and I heard people talking about, man, that was the longest quarter or half I've ever seen. It took a literal hour. It was like 58 minutes was the first. Well, half. the the first the first half alone was like 30 some minutes. No, that's what I said. The first half took like close to an hour. It was at least at least 58 minutes. Yeah, the priest going to be fouled there on the putback by Riley Buttress. First free throw, no good for DePriest. Second one, no good either. Gregory pulls that rebound down. And Shockley, left wing, back up to Fisk. Over to the right wing is Emma German. Now back up to Fisk. Into Buttress. Has it slapped away, but Fisk will regain control. Go back, up and under, no good. And rebound by Nold. Now they'll get it ahead to Hamilton, and watch out, here she goes. Off the glass for two. Shoot, she's got what? There's, they have 21 points, and she's probably got 15 of them. Yeah, I would say. Which I said earlier, I'm pretty sure I saw where she had signed with the college somewhere. I remember watching her whenever she was little bitty. Fisk for another three, no good. Ball's kicked over to Luna. Now to Miller. She'll shoot a two. Off, no good. Chased down by Nold, I believe. It's going to be out of bounds off Dora, so it will be Summersville ball. And number 21 will check in. That is Lauren Martin. Priest, I believe, is the one she checked in for. Fisk now. Shockley, left wing. Back to Fisk. Back to Shockley. Now up to Emma German. She'll swing it over to Gregory. Right wing. Now back to the left. Down to the corner to Shockley. Buttress squares up free throw. Way too high. Way too hard. Out of bounds. Under a minute left in the first half. I see parents and people laughing over there about that shot. I don't see nothing funny about that. I mean, that's a shot that, one, it's discouraging for Riley to have people laughing, but that's a shot that shouldn't be, you know, going off the top of the backboard. And, you know, you want your kids to do well. You want your kids to succeed. Yeah, and I, I agree. And the only way this team will succeed is if everybody does, not just your own. We're going to have a foul. On number 22, that is Luna. That's her third already with 36 seconds left. Mason Gregory will go to the line for a one and one. Gregory's first one rolls around and it's good. It went up, down, side to side and all around and finally decided to fall in. Yep. Give a shout out to Carson Boyer tonight running the camera for us. In and out, no good on that. Rebound oh, wow. by Buttress, and we'll have a jump ball, and that's going to go in favor of Dora. That was a jump ball. That's what he called it. And she knocked her almost into the pad. Guys, if you're watching, you're from Summersville, whatever you might, uh, Brian Buttress, Riley's dad, you can get on his Facebook page, and you uh, he's got a real <laughs> high-tech fancy camera there and get some really good photos of the games, the last few games we've had. Kicked over to Luna now on the right wing into Miller. Now back to Luna as they look to get it to Hamilton. They do with seven seconds. Hamilton's going to look to drive. Nice hesitation dribble. She goes up. Shot is no good. I think it may have been deflected. I think so. It is 10 to 21. Dora Falcons lead the Summersville Wildcats. And we are going to go to break here and give you guys the ad video. When we come back, it will be the second half. And can't wait to see you guys. 
Welcome to Summersville Wildcats Live. Hey, Andy Earls here, your owner operator. I just want to say thank you for tuning in with us and for all of the support. This is the first year of SWL, and we are excited to bring it to you week in and week out. We also want to say thank you to all of our amazing sponsors that you're about to see and hear in this ad video. We'll be back live with the game action shortly, and we hope you enjoy this production. Go Wildcats! I love bringing you the SWL live streams in my spare time. But when I'm not here, I'm at Baldwin Chevrolet in Popper Bluff, Missouri. I have been selling cars for 15 years now and love the opportunity to earn your business. Four lots full of new and pre-owned vehicles to choose from. The majority of these are backed by a lifetime warranty at no charge to you. Come see me at Baldwin Chevrolet or call me directly at 501-413-9715. I look forward to seeing you. A big shout out to our primary sponsor, Security Bank of the Ozarks. They have five locations, six different 24-hour ATMs, offering mobile banking, online bill pay, mobile deposits, and much more. They also have a debit card fraud monitoring app that you can check your balance on, as well as many other functions. Visit them online at www.sbozarks.com. Security Bank of the Ozarks. Go Wildcats. Your primary sponsor, Current Incorporated out of West Plains, Missouri. Family owned and operated since 1990. They provide electrical, heating air services, and that's installation for both residential and commercial customers. Their electricians, gosh, they do anything from replacing a light bulb to completely wiring an entire commercial building. The HVAC department does anything from replacing an air filter to installing rooftop heating and air systems and full custom duct systems. They even have their own wireless high-speed internet in West Plains and surrounding areas. Current Inc. SWL's primary sponsor, Wendy's Canoe Rental. They have canoe, kayak, raft, and tube rentals for Jack's Fork and Current River. They're located at the south end of Highway 19 Bridge over Jack's Fork River. Get a hold of them toll free at 866-889-8177 or online www.wendyscanoe.com. Go Cats! All of us here at Summersville Wildcats Live want to give a big shout out to the beautiful Tuttle family and their company Tuttle Logging on their Wildcat sponsorship package for the 2021-2022 season. The Tuttle family is your local experts for all things logging and they want you to know that they are proud supporters of not only Summersville Wildcats Live but the city of Summersville. Big thank you again to the Tuttle family and their company Tuttle Logging. SWL wants to give a big thank you to Kathy's Creations out of Somerville, Missouri. In fact, Kathy's Creations is right on the square there in Somersville, and they have a plethora of different ways to serve you, like fabric work, quilting, silks, gift items, and much, much more. Kathy's Creations want to wish the Somerville Wildcats Athletics the best of luck on the upcoming season. Kathy's Creations, 417-331-6508. Go Cats! Hey, from everybody here at Summersville Wildcats Live, we're going to give a big shout out and a thank you to Mr. Brandon Brawley and all the fine folks there at Brawley Fertilizer and Lime Spreading on their Wildcat Package Sponsorship for the 2021-2022 live streaming season. Hey, if you need fertilizer and lime spreading, they are the place to go in this area. You can get a hold of them at 417-331-1753 and they want to wish the Summersville Wildcats nothing but the best of luck on the upcoming sports season. Our tour on the sponsor video makes a stop at Pineview Christian Home. We want to say thank you to Pineview Christian Home for the Wildcat sponsor package on the 2021-22 streaming season. It's a social service organization that's been in business since 1994, long-standing with great customer service, friendly staff, located at 4281 Highway 17 right there in Summersville. To get a hold of them, 417-932-4557. How about Triple T Logistics out of Summersville, Missouri? Thank you guys for your sponsorship. Hey, if you got any kind of logistical needs, no matter how big or small, pick up that phone and dial Jay and Sue Duncan, the owners, at 
1742. They're a family owned and operated business specializing in hauling flatbed freight in Missouri, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Tennessee. Triple T Logistics, go Wildcats. Somerville Wildcats Live is a Redline Media Lines company. Redline also operates the award winning Corning Sports Report. That's Arkansas's number one viewed high school sports streaming company. Dog Pack Media out of Van Buren and Alton Sports Network. Hey, if you or your high school would like information from Redline about live streaming an event near you, simply reach out to myself, Andy Earls, at 501 413 9715. Redline Media Lines, connect the world. Hey guys, listen up. If yourself, your group, or your business is looking for decals, well, look no further. Drop Dead Decals is your one stop shop for all things decals, monograms of all sizes, colors and designs, fridge magnet decals, car decals, and anything else you can imagine. You guessed it, decal wise. Owner Head Eddie has great customer service and is eager to get going on your next decal project. Find them on Facebook and send them a message with your ideas, wants, and needs. Drop Dead Decals, go Wildcats. As we record this ad, the SWL Facebook page is up to 600 followers, and that's in less than one full month. It's pretty incredible considering the population in the Summersville city limits. Hey, we sincerely appreciate our loyal fan support of not only us, but these hardworking Wildcat and Lady Wildcat athletes. Let's keep that momentum going into the streaming season. Help us share these feeds and make sure to like and follow us. Let's go Wildcats. Hey guys, let's not forget that select SWL live streams will be seen on our Redline Media Lines YouTube channel this season. Watch on your big screen from the comfort of your home with a smart TV and the YouTube app. Just a few advantages over Facebook like pausing and rewinding live events. Make sure to click that subscribe button to our Redline Media Lines YouTube channel. Let's go Wildcats. Redline, connect the world. Let's all go and subscribe to Summersville's own Austin Bradley's College Basketball Insider Channel on YouTube. Austin and his passion and knowledge of college basketball shine through on this channel week in and week out. Speaking of week in and week out, weekly polls every week, bracket breakdowns, and much more analysis from Austin can be seen and even discussed on this channel by commenting with Austin on the chat feature each week. CBI with Austin Bradley. It is never too late to become a sponsor here with us at Summersville Wildcats Live. When you sponsor, you aren't just supporting the people who support Summersville Athletics. You're supporting these young men and women who work so hard and represent the Wildcats in a manner that we can all be proud of. If you have questions about becoming a sponsor, please feel free to contact us on Facebook and reach out to owner-operator Andy Earls at 501-413-9715. Let's go Wildcats. We want to say thank you to all of our sponsors from all of us at Summersville Wildcats Live. And we want to say thanks to you for sticking with us through this sponsor video. Hey, your live production, it'll be right back shortly. We want to say thank you to all of our sponsors from all of us at Summersville Wildcats Live. And we want to say thanks to you for sticking with us through this sponsor video. Hey, your live production, it'll be right back shortly. We want to say thank you to all of our sponsors from all of us at Summersville Wildcats Live. And we want to say thanks to you for sticking with us through this sponsor video. Hey, your live production, it'll be right back shortly.
All right, we're back. You're going to have to talk. I'm out of breath. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. It's the second half. Dora leads 21 to 10 over Somersville. Dora has number, I think it's 24, Hamilton. She is a girl that, I mean, she wants to go to the hole. She's going to go to the hole. She wants to get a three. She's going to get it within a couple dribbles. And Somersville struggled to score tonight. But we will start up. Fisk on the right wing. Cross court over to Shockley. Back out, Fisk swings it. Piper get it back out to German. Nice defense played here by Adora. Hamilton almost gets it away from German. She'll get it to Shockley. Now to Fisk, right wing. Piper with it, up top, back to Fisk. Struggling here, she gets it over to Shockley. Hamilton out on her, now to Piper. Right wing for Shockley. Thought about attacking, couldn't quite get there. Nice defense by Luna. Swing it down, Gregory for three from the corner. It's good. 13-21 now. And we don't have a player here to inbound the ball. They're gonna get a five second call there. Timeout by Dora. I'm curious as to what the issue was there. Nobody. Well, Hamilton was hollering to come back. Coach was hollering for him to get back, and they was all just in their own little world. <laughs> Eight point lead now. As Gregory just hit that three. Well, there's Hannah Sykes. I know her. Yeah. So do I. Sweet young thing. Don't know why she's with you, but oof, that's rough. Got Jason Heine. He must have finally got off work. Jason, I was going to tell you. You said the other night some of us have to work. If you deliver those packages a little quicker, you get to be here a lot earlier. <laughs> uh, Jesse Johnson is walking, watching. They don't need to know your speed in the UPS truck. <laughs> Pretty sure they probably got them governed. Uh, you said uh, Hannah's got about two and a half months to change her mind, or she's stuck. Yeah. <laughs> Then it will be Hannah Bradley. Nice still there by Alyssa Piper. Throws it ahead to Fisk. She comes up. Right hand layup. No good. Oh, that's unacceptable. Put back. <laughs> no good by German. And Fisk will come around. Yeah, you can't miss that layup. Fisk. Either one of those. No. Now Shockley up to Piper. She'll shoot a three. No good. Rebound again by Fisk. Up layup is good this time. 15-21. Six point lead for Dora. Hamilton up the right side. She'll be greeted once again by Emma German. Step back three for her is good. Nice shot. My gosh. Emma, like I've said, one of the top defenders in this area, in my opinion, and she just made it look easy. Fisk ahead to Gregory. She'll drive. Nice pass off to Piper up, no good, and she is fouled on the shot. She will shoot two. Somersville coming out with a little bit of energy here. Typically, it's the opposite. For the last three years, they come out of the locker room at halftime, and they're just, yeah, something like something happens. And Piper's first one rolls around, and it falls. Tonight, they've come out ready to play. And you'll see number 32 checking in. That is Kenley Howard. Second one is good. Two for two there for Alyssa Piper. 17-24, seven-point lead for Dora. Hamilton once again with it. I think she's related to Bryce and them from Gainesville. I would say. Be my guess. Bryce, outstanding They're not player. real far. Yeah. It's about 20 minutes or so. Yeah, it's not far away at all. But there you see again, I mean, for but the most Miller part. Followed the her shot and got her own rebound. Yeah, the defensive rotation for Summersville has not been good at all tonight. No. Luna with the putback there. Nice job by uh, Miller to get in there and get her own rebound. We're going to have a travel right there. But, no, I'd say that they probably are. My guess would be they're related, like you said. It's just a few few minutes away. Ham Bryce Hamilton, great ball player from Gainesville. And then you have uh, Andrew Hamilton, going to be a great ball player. Luna now, left wing, back up top to Miller. She'll shoot another three, and it's good this time. I want to say – Go, sorry. 29 to 17 with five minutes left in this third quarter. I want to say Hamilton outscored DeVault the other night. I would say so. He was a beast. Bryce? Yeah. Yeah, he was a beast the other night. That was a fun game to call. 
By the way, did you see that DeVault did break that record? Yeah, I did. Fisk for three right there, 20-29. Yeah, I saw he broke it. He is now the all-time leading scorer for the Norwood Pirates. Step back three for Hamilton again, off this time. Luna gets the rebound, and she'll bring it back around. Gets it down to Miller. Miller down in the left corner, back up left wing for Luna. Shot is up, no good. Nice block out by Marissa Fisk to get that rebound. And she's going to go all the way in, up under, no good. Why not just shoot a layup right there? Uh, I'm not down there. She's not wearing her glasses tonight. I don't know if she's going in expecting to be fouled, trying to get fouled or what, but, yeah, you got to go up and go up strong. Pfeiffer will get it in two fists. Back to Pfeiffer. They run this play a lot. Three point no good by Pfeiffer and tracked down by Hamilton, and she'll bring it up for Dora. Pfeiffer is one of those players that if she is on, she might hit four or five threes in a yep. game, but if not, she yep. might not hit one. There she gets a steal when Hamilton lost it. Hamilton slow to get back up. Cross court pass to Fisk. Up, layup is no good. So she will shoot two. The big man, Jonathan Smith from Somersville is watching. Jonathan, how are you doing, man? You doing good? He's just right here, 200 yards away from us right now. Why aren't you here? Hmm. Yeah, Jonathan, you could come in. Some of your crew's here, buddy. First one is good for Fisk. Somersville keeping it within striking distance. Yep. DePriest will now check in. She comes in for... Who is that, number 21, Martin? Second one is good for Fisk as well. 22-29, seven-point lead now for Dora. Ignore the fact that your scoreboard's going to say 25 for just a second. <laughs> Hamilton gives it up to Luna. I did that last night, too, hit the wrong button. Or the night before last. Yeah. I think I just skipped the day because I don't remember anything about yesterday. Deep three for Hamilton's off. Rebound, Luna and Fisk. Oh, they're going to call a jump ball. Fisk took her down on her back. I thought it was going to be a foul. Jump ball. That will favor Dora. Well, I mean, I guess we can go ahead and say it, barring anything just unexpected happening. Miller's shot's good. Uh, yeah. We're going to be in bunker tomorrow for the Summersville and Bunker boys game tomorrow night. Uh, starts at six, so if you can't make it all the way down there, it is a long, long drive. Uh, like I said, barring anything crazy, you should be able to find it right here. If not, uh, Bunker does have a YouTube channel that you can watch it on as well. Yeah. No commentary on their YouTube channel, but right, you won't get to hear my lovely voice, but yeah, something like that. <laughs> but yeah, barring anything, uh, we have the permission, except for from Bunker. So we're gonna Austin's gonna get a hold of them tomorrow, make sure it's cool with them that we come down there and do it. Don't see it being an issue, but we will be live tomorrow night starting at six o'clock. Nice three point shot there by Miller. That's five in a row for her in the any past time, thirty seconds. Oh yeah, any time right now Summersville gets right there, it seems like Dora just kind of throws it up to a twelve, fourteen point game. Yeah. So there I mean Summersville well, is still by Hamilton. Hamilton. She's going to cut across to the right. Layup is good. I mean, Summersville's not let, allowing them really to blow this thing out, at least right now. That's a 14-point lead right now. So it's inching that way. Two minutes, 35 seconds left. 22-36. Dora leads. Yeah, just a minute ago on the clock, it was a seven-point ball game. Now they've doubled that. Nice ball movement here by Summersville. Quick ball movement, crisp. Shockley will get a shot at a three. It's good. That's a pretty shot by Addison Shockley. Assist there by Mason Gregory as well. Yep. Moves the ball over to Luna. She'll work it down to Miller in the left corner. She'll kick it up to nice shot there by Nord. Foul on the shot. So now Luna gets a shot at, or a chance at an and one. Nold, not Nord. To me, that's a, a tic tac. So. Yep. I agree. I'm not the referee, though, so I mean. Yeah, we're just dumb little commentators, bud. Something like that. Never watched basketball, actually, just so you know. Yeah. Before, before this year. Three point play is good by Luna. And number 23 will check in. That is Shauna Lake. When do they kick the field goals? <laughs> in the fourth quarter, son. 
Fisk working it down to Gregory. She gets tries to get it in a piper, can't get it. Good pass. Ball's thrown ahead. Layup is up and it is good. Perfectly placed pass. And that is a timeout by Somerville. So as Austin was saying earlier, we will be live tomorrow night barring some sort of catastrophe. Yeah. Six o'clock is game time and it will be from Bunker because Somersville plays Bunker and this is really for conference championship. Uh, yeah, I, I'll, I'll explain the situation briefly or quickly. A Somersville win gives, well, not just Somersville, but Alton also a share of the uh, Big Springs Conference regular season championship. It creates a three-way tie. Uh, Bunker beat Alton at the beginning of the season. Alton beat Summersville, and then if Summersville beats Bunker. Yep. Um, and then, but a Bunker win, and they take the regular season championship outright. Yep. Uh, last year, uh, whenever they played, it actually, Summersville did win in overtime, but uh, Bunker was ranked number one, nine in class one, and that actually gave Alton a share of the yeah. championship. <coughs> Summersville didn't get one, but Alton did. Right. Well, Summersville record was nowhere near what it was this, is this year. Piper be fouled right there by the priest. <laughs> I like their coach. Yeah. Tells her all she's got to do is stay straight up. But do not bend your wrist. Piper. <laughs> He's still yelling at her. She does not look impressed whatsoever. First one for Piper is good. I'll tell you what, when that left Piper's hands, I thought she was going to airball it. Oh, yeah. It looked like it was really just, it looked like it was high, but not enough. It looked good for me, but. That one, second one is too, good. Though. She's 100% right now, four for four. <laughs> Maybe it's just depth perception for me or something, but. Might be. That was a really nice pass by Hamilton, but the priest and. Can't see the other girl's number. That is Noel. The priest and Noel didn't know who was going to catch it, so the ball completely went through between both of them and out of bounds. Fisk over to Piper, down into Shockley. Piper now again. She'll bring it around. Back to Shockley. Emma German comes around. She'll get it. Now, Emma German, she is an offensive threat at times. Uh, smaller girl. Nice job there by Addison Shockley to get around and get fouled, but Emma German, great defensive player, but she can also shoot the ball really well. You just don't see her shoot it a lot. Shockley's first one is good. As of that shot, she is 80% on the night from the free throw line. Look at you doing math. I'm so proud of you. It just comes natural to me, buddy. Well, it's good it comes natural to you because it doesn't <laughs> to me. Hamilton now. Second one was good, making it 29-41. Nice job by Mason Gregory to get a hand on that ball. <clears throat> what, Saturday, I'm starting to take business classes, and I'm going to tell you something. The whole, like, financials and stuff like that terrifies me. Yeah. <laughs> Fisk, 40 seconds, and she will be fouled by Hamilton as she's tripped up. Rode it like a go-kart all the way to the ground. <laughs> I just gave that foul to the Dora side of the scoreboard. It was four to two, now it's five to two. Well, well it, it should have foul. I say it was a foul on Dora. I don't know what I'm thinking. Addison Shockley trying to do some work. She does, and she gets fouled by Martin. No. Oh, they called her for hooking it there. She did hook it. She did. And that's, I mean, that is kind of the right call. But, but in her defense on that, when she hooked the girl, she, uh, the girl had her belly pressed into her, pushing on her, so. You know how rare, like, if you think about it, like, you think about it, and that was called. I don't know how often you see that in high school basketball, at least around here. Don't see it that, a lot. That's that the third time I've seen it all foul. year. Third time I've seen it all year. Sorry to interrupt they, you. They call it in college all the time, but. You don't see it a whole lot in high school. Nice yeah. behind the back. Holy smokes. Miller for three. It's good. That's her second one of this quarter, and that will end the third quarter. 29-44. Dora still with the lead, 
and it has seemed to start growing as it is 16 points now, or 15 points, I'm sorry. And you will get to see the Summersville cheerleaders do a nice little routine. You know, are they taking a pet bus to? Uh, we got Justin Harrell watching as we're sitting here. I can watch him. He's watching us. That sounds weird. Yeah. They're taking a pet bus where? To Bunker. Are they taking a pet bus tomorrow? No. No, we are short bus drivers. There's no way to get. Well, I say that, and they were still wondering if after one of the routes, if Jeff uh, Tomier could drive it. So I'm not 100% sure on that yet. 15 point game. But if they don't, they can sit there and watch us and cheer from home. Watch the game, listen to us and cheer from home. I know it's something that a lot of people that in in our profession would not say, but I would rather be at the game. Yeah, I would too. It's yep, because our team, our boys do, do, uh, do oh. a lot better whenever they have turnover right there. Oh, yeah, they respond really well. See, and last year – And we've got a good pep club. Oh, and last year, really, they didn't, which was ironic. I felt like the bigger the crowd, the they didn't play as well. But this year, they really yeah. enjoyed that home home court advantage. Yeah. Marissa Fisk whistled for that foul there on Nold, and she will shoot two. Yeah. Watching right there, Justin's a friend of mine. Justin's a friend of yours, Coach Harrell, yeah. Summersville boys coach. And I was watching right there. Doesn't have to be here tonight, but yet he is, and he has his whole team here. And he was just talking to the girls, coaching them from the sidelines. That's great. I mean, the man does love these kids, cares for them. Second one is good as well, but it's good to see. It's nice to see the guy. He's a great guy, good coach. But you see him here for the girls too. Coached him that one game. He did. And did they, they win? They didn't win, but they did good. Nice drive right there by Marissa Fisk for the layup. 15-point game still, 31-46 yeah, as we pulled, approach seven minutes. He pulled triple duty that – oh, my goodness. I thought she was going to make that. Yeah. She, he pulled triple duty that night. Yep. Did girls and J – well, Aerosmith did uh, JV, and he helped him, which Justin's way of helping is doing it. <laughs> Can't blame him, but then he, he also did varsity. He and I. First one for Hamilton's good. That's how Yardley is at Eminence. Another really good friend of mine. Second one is good as well, too. He helps Wyatt, but he, he, gets, he does it. <laughs> right. Pushed it ahead to Piper. will shoot a three now. No good. Rebound. Dora. Nold will get it, and Fisk is going to foul again. That's just a silly foul. Yeah, I mean, it's a good call. You just don't want to do it. Oh, if that's her fourth. Seven minutes left in this fourth quarter, and she just committed her fourth. She's going to come out, and Elizabeth Havens will go in. That's something. If you're going to continue to take those threes down 17, you're going to need some of them to start going in. Yeah. Hamilton with it. German on her. Miller sets the screen. Nice pass over to Luna. Shot fake. She drives up. No good. Rebound pulled in by Emma German. She just elbowed her. Yeah, well, she wouldn't get off of her arm. I don't blame her. Gives it up to Pfeiffer. Almost stolen, but now back to German across half court. She comes to the left wing. Now to Pfeiffer. Into Shockley. Gregory looks to drive. She'll go up. No good. Nice job by Emma to oh, get she there. Rips she rips it away. away and will be fouled on the shot. And she'll shoot two. The girl is little, but she is mighty. First one for Emma is no good off the side of the rim. Now, I will say uh, Emma has a juvenile uh, arthritis. So if you watch her shoot, she can't bend her wrist all the way back to get the ball set properly. So she does have to use a lot more arm strength. So her shot is off a little different. 
but she can shoot it. She missed both of those, but I have, I mean, she can. We're gonna have a foul right there on number 21, Martin, and that's gonna send Addison Shockley to the line for two. We're gonna have to load all this up when this is over. Noel comes out and the priest will come in. First one for Shockley is good. Shooting the ball exceptionally well. In and out on that one. Gregory with the foot back, no good, and it will be chased down. That's going to stay with Summersville. Good job by Elizabeth Havens getting there, but uh, Liz Piper will inbound. And lazy pass. Slapped out of bounds by Hamilton. Now we'll get it into Shockley. She'll shoot a three from the top. It's good. Nice shot there, 35-48. She's just got four points there in a matter of 10 seconds. At some point here with six or two minutes gone off the clock, six minutes left or just, just under it, Summersville's going to have to start trying right. to apply some pressure. And, and one, one right one. there Very by nice. Hamilton. Well, that's the problem right there. She saw what happened. Okay, they're trying to make a little bit of a comeback, and Hamilton said, I'm just going to go to the basket and score, which is what she is capable of doing. How many points do you think she has tonight of the 50? <laughs> 30. Easy. She's probably almost outscored the whole the Summersville team. And there's been a lot of times where she's passed it off when she could have and probably should have took the shot. She's uh, been the definition of scoring at will. Yeah. Tonight. Yep. Nice ball movement here. German's going to get a look at a three. Round, no good. And rebound by Luna. Hamilton showing off her handles. She's going to get it. Oh, she does get it down to Luna. She'll pull around. Baseline, no three. She gets it into Martin. Up, no good. Rebound, Elizabeth Havens. Piper gives it up to Emma German. Back to Piper now. Up to Addison Shockley. Mason Gregory, 4-3. No good. Nice rebound, Emma, Emma German. Piper with it now. You say the old and the three up drives you nuts. Mm-hmm. The holding your freaking follow yeah. through like that and walking backwards. I'm going to tell you, well, first of all, it drives me nuts. But second of all, and I'm just going to say it flat out how I feel. If you shoot it like that and you hold your follow through and you miss, you look like an idiot. <laughs> tell us how you really feel, son. Hamilton drives past up. She's going to be fouled. Oh. That was her knee, I guess. I thought it was her head at first, but her knee hit the floor with a thud. Still probably hurt. <laughs> yeah. Thirty-five fifty-one. Four minutes thirty-five or thirty-seven seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Dora leads. First one is good for Hamilton. Marissa Fisk will check in. She does have four fouls. Elizabeth Havens will come out. Second one's good for Hamilton as well. Elizabeth Havens is along with the right coach. She could be a, I mean, a huge threat to anybody. On both sides of the ball. Oh, yeah. Well, her seventh grade year, I had her uh, in a tournament. They asked for a uh, player from each team for a three-point competition. She was the one I chose. Like I said, you know, she'd run through a brick wall for you. I told her, I said, you're going to be shooting in a three-point contest, so you need to be shooting them. And any time she had a spare minute during practice, after practice, whatever, she was shooting it. Opal Wynn Johnson's watching us. Hi, Opal. Glad to see you on here. She's from Alton. Her son, Merlin, used to be the superintendent here at Summersville. Great guy. Really like him. Uh, glad to see you on here, Opal. Piper will drive. She's going to be fouled, I believe, on the shot. Yep. 
So she will go to the line for two. It is 35-53 with four minutes even left here. Both teams have 18 fouls. First one for Piper is good. She's shooting 100%, isn't she? Yep. If she misses this one, I'm hitting you after the game because you put a jinx on her. It'll be all right. I like grapes. <laughs> I haven't seen Clint's name pop up yet, bud. <laughs> Hannah Bunch, number three, just checked in. Second one is good. Piper's still 100%. So I was watching. <coughs> you talked about that announcer's jinx. I was watching a uh, college game last night, and they were talking about that. And I'll tell you, there was this guy, I don't remember if it was Jay Billis or Seth Greenberg, but got downright almost offended when somebody said that, like, that's not a real thing. I'm like, I, I really don't know that anybody actually believes that. It's, oh, ouch. She didn't hit her head. I think she hit her butt, but, man, yeah. it, she hit it hard. They're up by 16 right now, and she's still playing like that. Three minutes, 35 seconds on the clock, and in order to save the ball from being turned over, she takes all that abuse. That shows you what kind of player she is, what kind of leader she is. Yeah, and you know that hurt. She just got oh, up. Oh, yeah. It is but a scratch. Yep. Swung down to Piper. She'll give it back up. Fisk. You ever seen that movie? What is it? Uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Oh, no, I don't. Got a blocking foul right there. That will put Fisk at the line for a one and one. No, I don't. I'm not big on Monty Python. I just remember that. Dudley used to have us watch it. Yeah, I remember you said that. Coach Caleb Dudley, Summersville baseball coach. Zebulon Howe just tuned in, it says. Zeb, how you doing, bud? Mr. Big Mizzou Tiger. Arkansas beat <coughs> Auburn. Yeah. That was mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hamilton. Crossover, looks, kicks it out. Moving around real well to Luna for three. No good. Shockley will pull that rebound down as we approach three minutes and ten seconds in this fourth and final quarter. 38-53, Dora leads. Fisk back to Piper. She'll swing it down to Emma German. She gets it into Addison Shockley. Back out to Fisk. Fisk loses her handle, but Shockley gets it. Buttress up to Shockley on the right wing. Now cross-court pass. Now Piper with it. She looks to drive. You're under three minutes. You got to get. You got to get some urgency. Look for a shot. Fisk will shoot the three. No good. That's not the shot you want to be looking for. And Miller with the rebound. Nope. Luna, up to Hamilton. Piper slaps away. Hamilton gets it back. Can't complete the shot there. Butchers has it. We're gonna have a jump ball that will go in favor of Dora. Butch what Butchers just did there is textbook what you're not supposed to do. Turtle up. Yep. And but the thing is, is unfortunately, like it's probably been four or five years since she's been even that's even been come up in yeah. a practice. Uh, Luna will take a three here. No good. Again, there you see the forward defensive rotation there. That's what how it's been all night long. That's not an offensive foul. I was like. Well, the way he kind of stopped, I was like, oh, yep. no, oh, no. No, good call by the ref. That was a blocking foul. Once again, want to give a shout-out to Carson Boyer for running the camera for us tonight. First one is good for Fisk. Summersville is in the double bonus now, so they will shoot two free throws every time. Second one, no good. Pulled down by DePriest, and they will get it to Hamilton. Two minutes, ten seconds left. Hamilton looks to drive, floater in the lane, no good. Rebound right there by number three, Bunch. Now Miller for three, no good She's either. had a lot of open shots yep. tonight. Nice rebound by DePriest. She's going to be called for a travel, though. And we have a sub coming in. That is Autumn Nold, number 33. And DePriest will take a seat. So I believe this is actually the last home game for uh, the girls this year, isn't it? Because Eminence doesn't have a girls team. Yeah, Eminence doesn't have one. 
Are we going to count that? I don't see how you could. Nope. Shot was on the floor, so Piper will shoot two. They put it on the scoreboard. He just said they're shooting. She's shooting two. First one for Piper, no good. Uh, they play Plato at Plato Saturday. At 9 a.m. Yeah, and they play Couch at Couch. So, yeah, probably their last home game. That might have been why it was senior night earlier. Summers Second one's good. Summersville boys don't play Plato, do they? Mm -mm. I didn't think so. No. Uh, as I mentioned just a second ago, it was senior night tonight, and we will be missing Addison Shockley and Marissa Fist next year as they are the only two seniors we have. Both girls have played basketball since elementary all the way through. Um, softball since elementary all the way through. There you'll see Gracie Seelock, captain, doing some tumbling. And here comes Jalen Halstead. And also talking about Addison and Marissa, they are volleyball elementary all the way through. Marissa. Softball too. I said softball. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oops. Marissa, she exceeds or excels at uh, softball. That is her sport by far. Addison's sport is volleyball. Unfortunately for her, she injured her knee last year in basketball and missed out on part of her senior season of volleyball. But she missed did missed out get to on a lot it. of it. Yeah, she probably three quarters of it. But anyway, the point of this is, is three great student or two great student athletes, and they will be dearly missed next year. Under two minutes here. Hate to see them leave, but love to see what they're going to do. 53 to 40. If Summersville is going to have an answer, they're going to have to come up with it really, really quick. Hey, they are going to pressure. That's something we didn't see against Bunker in a game that, uh, honestly, they may have could have gotten back into yep. had they pressured a little bit. But the pressure is very easily broken, but it's turned over. So it will go back Still, to though, just having the pressure on it. So you still have just having the pressure even if it's not real good. But that's on the coach if they don't press. Going to have a blocking foul here. And Marissa Fisk will go to the line 4 2. <laughs> I like their coach. He says, guard somebody. He yelled, called somebody by name and said, guard somebody. Minute 33 left. Fisk will get two. First one is good. Summersville shooting exceptionally well tonight from the free throw line. Yeah, it's a good chance, too, to get points here down uh, 12 with the clock stop. Second one, no good. Nice job, Elizabeth Havens. Back up. No good. Fisk rebounded, but Hamilton just ripped it away from her. She comes up the left side of the court, and she's going to pull back. Is that Fisk or German that got that offensive rebound? Fisk. Well, Elizabeth Havens got the offensive rebound, put it back, missed, and then uh, – Marissa Fisk got it, but Hamilton just grabbed it and ripped it away from her. She had it setting up like by her head and on, on her shoulder. One eighteen left. First, First one, one of the one no one good. Two. No good, that's what I was trying to say here. Yeah. If I could ever spit it out. Fisk, pull up. It's good. Nice shot by her. Smart shot. Now it's a 10-point game with a minute five seconds left. And they get it in easily. She just about fell over the yeah. out-of-bounds line. Noel gets it to Lake. We're going to call a foul here. A jump ball I can understand. I don't know about a foul. Well, maybe well, coming in from behind. Lake got the ball. Not Lake, I'm sorry. Bunch got the ball. And when she did, she put it behind her head, above and behind her head. Elizabeth Havens, he put it in her hand. She pulled it away, and he calls a foul. Once again, he's the ref. I'm a commentator, so not my call. Either way here, make, miss, whatever. You got to go if you're Summersville. Yep. Makes the first one. They're also in the double bonus. Second one's no good. Havens chases that rebound down. She'll get it ahead to Piper. Slapped around. Absolutely killer. Yep. 
Bunch had it. Emma German runs into her, and that's going to be Emma's fifth foul, isn't it? Uh, or is it only four? Uh, nope, yeah. that is her fifth. 50 seconds left, 11-point ball game. Dora leads 54-43. And Jaden German will check in for Gemma German. Emma German. Bunch, first one is no good. Second one is good, 12-point ball game. And we will have Martin check in, number 21. And Bunch will take a seat. 55-43 with 50 seconds left. At what point do you tank Marissa and Addison out? Now. You're not going to win it. I mean, nothing short of a miracle if you did. That's They're not sure. going to win it, but I mean, I don't know if he understands it or not. If senior night, you pull him out. Pull them out one at a time, too, not at the same time. Mm -hmm. They deserve an ovation being the last time on the court. Second one is good as well for Hamilton. 39.5 seconds. 43-57, Fisk. Looks to drive, loses her handle on it. And I believe we're gonna be whistled for another foul, Elizabeth Haven. Yep. That'll be her fourth. Did our girls team have any seniors last year? Lake and Piper. Yeah, they had Lake and and did they, Taylor? No, she didn't play. Second one, no good, didn't draw iron. First one for Knowles was good, second one, no good. Piper tries to go in and go up. It's gonna be called for travel as she tried to force the shot up over Hamilton. Mama Joe's watching, I, Joanne. Hamilton will get it with 22 seconds on the clock. Full court uh, defense here by Elizabeth Havens. I would guess that barring like a foul that Dora this wants to just dribble this out. They should. They don't seem to be looking to score here. No, we're down to six seconds now. Neither senior will come out to get their ovation that they deserve. Down to zero. That will do it. 43-58. Dora Falcons beat the Lady Summersville Lady Wildcats. Remember, guys, tomorrow night, starting at 6 o'clock, we will be live streaming from Bunker for the Summersville versus Bunker, which is a big deal in the regular season big conference tournament or big conference, Big Springs Conference. I'll spit it out in a minute. Win for Summersville makes a three-way tie for Alton, Bunker, and Summersville. A loss from Summersville win for Bunker gives Bunker sole cha or sole custody of the yep. regular season championship. But, guys, we're going to go ahead and get off the air here. Appreciate you watching with us. And if you want, tomorrow night, 6 o'clock, we will be broadcasting from Bunker for the Summersville Varsity Boys. And, well, we'll do JV as well. Hey, Shalise, how are you? Shalise Wadlow, an old friend of mine. Uh, but, anyway, we will see you guys tomorrow night. Six o'clock, Summersville versus Bunker. Big game. Could be a very fun game to watch, guys. Thanks for watching tonight. Bye.